morning. So just got to the airport. Um, I have about 20 minutes still. I have to go and uh, check in. But I just wanted to let you guys know what I was doing really quick. I'm doing one leg to Orlando today. I'm starting a three-day trip. Today's day one. I'm the most junior this time around. Um, I kind of want to start telling you guys my seniority on every trip that I go to because it really does make a difference how long you've been in a company to have some sort of like freedom to do what you want. So seniority really means you've been here a little longer than other people or a lot longer than other people. You get to choose what kind of trips you want to fly, what days you want off, and the longer you're here, the longer or the better the, the trips and layovers and days off you will get. So, and then when you go on a trip, at least for my airline, that's how you choose which position you want to fly. And today I'm the most junior and uh, the other people, the other two people have dibs, I guess, on what they want to I want it on what they want to fly first so we'll just see what position I get juniored into but um, like I said I have one leg to Fort Lauderdale I have a pre I mean no not Fort Lauderdale Orlando um, I'm still thinking about Fort Lauderdale so um, if you haven't watched the news you can search what happened in, at the Fort Lauderdale Airport that is one of our bases so it did hit close to home so I guess that's why it's like in the back of my mind, you know, especially going to Florida today. But uh, we are in Orlando. We I am going to Orlando and um, I will have a pretty decent layover. So I'll bring you guys along with me. Actually got Junior into flying C, which is okay because that's what I would have preferred to fly anyway. Um, so I'm flying in the back and the chaser, our extra, she's actually a really good friend of mine, so I'm really excited to fly with her. She's going to be with us for most of the trip, so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I'm just going to do my pre-flight checks really quick, and then we're going to start boarding. We got in about 10.56 a.m. Oh, the AC is just going to be super loud. Hold on. Huh. We got in around 10.56 a.m. The flight over here was pretty smooth. We didn't really have much going on. The crew that I'm with is really cool. Um, I am about to go to the gym really quick and then I'm going to come back, get freshened up and go to uh, dinner with the crew. I'm not going to buy anything over there. Well, hopefully because I brought my own food. So I'm really just going to... Uh, go for moral support I guess and to get out of the hotel but I wanted to show you guys what I have in my lunch box I don't think I've ever like filmed a what's in my lunch box video so I'm going to show you that right now all right so as you know I have the strong bags lunch bag here let me close this and it's pretty cool because it has all these different it has all these different compartments there's a compartment right here where you can put your manual if you wanted to there's some cup holders in there this pouch right here this little pouch here and then the big one so let's start with this little one right here so in here I keep some tea oh well this is like I think this is vitamin C or multivitamins. I have some tea in there. In here I have some little coffee packs. I carry this avocado that I'm gonna have for breakfast, some bread for my avocado, this bag of chips just because chips is my weakness so I like to indulge at least a little bit. I carry some Justin's almond butter, some peanut butter, granola, and tapatio. Onto the main one. So in here I carry some mango chunks, some holy guacamole, two bananas, more holy guacamole. 
um, water bottle. And then I made some chia pudding. And I made it with chia seeds, cashew milk, agave, and a little bit of um, pure uh, vanilla extract. Uh, and I have uh, three of these. And in there I have um, turkey, sweet potato, Brussels sprouts. It's what Jenny Ernst made in her videos. And in here, I've been having, I've been making my own shakes in the morning. So every, the smoothies that I have at home when I'm off, I've been bringing them to work so that I can stay on track and still have somewhat of a healthy breakfast instead of eating the breakfast food. So as you can tell, I already had mine for today. In here, I have... Some uh, Trader Joe's uh, chili lime seasoning, some uh, Clorox wipes, Ricola, some foil, some dish soap, and some tea. Oh, and then I have some sanitizing wipes, too. Everything else is just pretty much, like, some of the Ricola that fell out of the bag and then some silverware. But, yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I had in my bag because I'm about to put it in the refrigerator. And I didn't want to remember tomorrow and half of my food was gone. So, yeah. I am trying to get a little bit more in shape. I am trying to lose some weight. I'm not looking to lose a lot of weight, just you know, the last bit of my baby weight that I never lost. It's just, it's been hard. It's been hard to lose those last few pounds. So, um, I'm really trying to eat healthy. And the thing is, for me, eating healthy, I can stay on track for a little bit, but then I'm like, ooh, chocolate, ooh, chips, ooh, ice cream, you know? So, it's really hard for me to kind of stay on track sometimes. So, I'm really trying. Really, really, really trying. So we came to the Florida Mall, and it's four of us. This is Alex. Hi. <laughs> so okay, the first time I met Alex was okay. So I've flown with her before, but I was flying with Ashton. You know, everyone knows. Everyone knows who Ashton is. <laughs> and so I told her, I told Ashton, I don't want to fly in the front with her because she was mean to me the last time I flew with her. I, and then I realized it wasn't even her. <laughs> So I didn't like her for the wrong reasons at first. <laughs> but yeah, we just came to the Florida Mall. We're gonna eat something and probably shop around because there's some really good sales. So. so we found this boba place. You guys know that in Texas, oh, you know that you guys know that in Texas I tried the boba and it was disgusting. So I'm gonna try this one and hopefully this one's better. What did you get? Just the regular. I got the coffee, no coffee, coffee with tapioca. Do you want to tell them what you got? What you got? Isn't that awkward? So good. 
good. This is the matcha, matcha something. I think it had, I think it's a matcha latte. It's good. So we came to Victoria's Secret and they have this solid fragrance here. It won't focus, but this is, it's like a perfume, so it would be great to travel with so you don't have to worry about like the, the TSA and like the liquid limits. So this would be good. They're having like a 65% off sale too, so. Anyway, you're just chilling, you know? Yeah, yeah it is. To get, get, to get to the beach to get to just sit inside of it? Yeah. yeah. Sit in the middle? You, you won't go to the middle. It's so disgusting. exhausted we walked around for like four and a half hours and it is really cold in Orlando for it being Orlando it's cold it's like in the 40s and it's not supposed to be that cold so like I'm talking about like 42 so yeah so we ended up going to Sephora Victoria's Secret Charlotte Bruce and Lush so at Sephora well let me show you what I got at um, Victoria's Secret. So I got this case. It's like glittery. It's not going to protect my phone at all. So I have to get like a glass screen for it. And it's cool because. Ah! Hold on. Ah! No! Oh, I thought my nails chipped. It's cool because it has. It opens. You can open the back like this, right? It clicks and then in here you can put your credit cards, which I won't put my credit cards there, but like when I go to, when I go on a layover, I can put my room key right there. And then it, it has a mirror. So it's pretty cool. It was on sale for like $10. So I got that at Victoria's Secret. Uh, I got a shirt at Charlotte Ruse for like $10. So it's one of those like cute v-necks. I love like just basic tees like this especially for my layovers and it just has like the crisscross here so it's really cool it was like 10 bucks and I got a sample at Lush of a face mask um that I want that I used to have before it's the mask of Magnum Minty but it broke me out and it irritated my skin so I wanted to try it one more time before I repurchase it so at Sephora I ended up getting another one of these sheets, sheet masks. I love these sheet masks, especially for traveling. And right now my skin is so dry. It's so, so, so dry. So I got the rose face mask. I like this one and the pearl one. Those are my favorite ones. And this is the ultra moisturizing and brightening. And then I also got an eye mask and it's the perf it's the pearl one. Um, the perf It's for perfecting and brightening. So I'm gonna do that tonight. Then um, I needed a new beauty blender, so I got the special edition one that they have because they're, I guess they're celebrating like 15 years, so it's like a rose champagne. And I got an Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown because I'm running out. I think I can only use it for like one or two more days and then I'm going to need a new one. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I'm so tired. The crew is going to go downstairs and eat. And I guess they're meeting other crew members. They asked me if I wanted to go, but I'm a little tired. So I think I'm going to just stay in my room, do a face mask, and watch either Netflix or YouTube. I'm not sure. 
<sighs> we have an early report time tomorrow. We have to do... Oh my god. We go to Puerto Rico tomorrow. That's a long flight. I mean, it's not a long flight as far as flight time. It's just... They're, for some reason, Puerto Rico flights are very exhausting. We go from here to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Then we go to Fort Lauderdale, I think. So we do Orlando, San Juan, Puerto Rico, San Juan, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale, Boston. Dang. Okay. So it's a long day. It's like about nine hours i think two and then we go home on tuesday and then we just have two legs we do boston atlanta atlanta dallas and i'll be home by like 7 30 so that's not too bad but yeah tomorrow's a long day um our report time is at 705 so we are taking the 6 30 a.m shuttle which should be enough time to get some coffee i like getting cortaditos which are cuban espresso so i'm so excited to get a cortadito. So, so, so excited. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to call it a night. Sorry. Every time I see people yawn. If I'm watching a vlog and someone yawns in a vlog. I end up yawning with them. So, I'm sorry if I made you yawn. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to call it a night. Maybe have a snack. San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's about like a two and a half hour flight, I think. We haven't gotten flight time yet. I got my cortadito this time and I got a double. Normally I get like a single, but I couldn't sleep last night because whoever was next door to me was having a fight. I think it was like a couple or something and they were having like a big fight. So uh, I couldn't sleep. And then I had to wake up at like 5.15. So yeah, double cortadito it is. Just got to Fort Lauderdale and we were supposed to have like a quick turnaround from, I'm gonna set this here, from um, Puerto Rico and then we're supposed to head over to Boston. Well, as soon as we get here, they're like, oh, now you have a two hour sit. So we're supposed to sit here for two hours. And then right now uh, we get off to go get food and when we come back in, the gate agent was like, um, you guys are in the wrong gate. You're swapping planes. This plane is now going to LaGuardia. So now we have 10 minutes to get to our gate and go over to Boston. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm just sealing my carts in the galley so that I can go on to the next plane. Finally made it to Boston. Ugh. Finally made it to Boston. I am tired. I am done today. I'm done. Today was long. We had a bunch of delays coming into Boston and um, we had like a few passengers that were kind of rough and it was just one of those days like, you know, being a flight attendant is great. It's so great. I would never trade this for anything else in the world but there are those days where you kind of just like think like hmm would i go through this at another airline or does this happen at other airlines or is it just my airline you know and so you always think about that and it's always nice to talk to somebody else and see what they say and i talked to this flight attendant from another airline who was non-revving and she was telling us, she was telling me, like, you know, how she has it at her, at her airline and how she's been there for so many years and she still doesn't have a lot of flexibility and stuff like that. So it kind of made me appreciate a little bit more where I'm at with my seniority and stuff. So, you know, it's always nice to kind of look at someone else's perspective and the grass isn't always greener on the other side you know it may seem like it but i saw this thing on facebook that says the grass is always greener if you water it or something something like that you know like the grass will be greener wherever you water it that's what it was something like that so yeah um it was one of those days but you know, I'm glad I was able to talk to that person and I didn't even have to tell her how I was feeling. It's just, it just so happened that she was just telling me about her airline. But anyway, 
I'm gonna go downstairs with the crew. There's a restaurant downstairs and they have happy hour on appetizers. So if um, I eat my food, I'm only gonna have enough for today. And I'm not gonna have any food tomorrow. So I'm gonna go downstairs, get something to eat, and that's it. Tomorrow we go home. Tomorrow we do Boston, Atlanta, Atlanta, Dallas. And I'll be home by 7 p.m. I have one day off and then I go on another three-day trip. Which I'm going to try to swap for something better because I kind of want my family to follow me along. So we'll see if it gets approved because I can try and swap for other trips. But if somebody else that's senior to me bids for it first, then they get priority. So they get the trip. So I mean I can try all I want but... We'll see. We'll see what I can find on open time anyway. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. It's been... It's been an easy three-day. I don't even know why I'm complaining. It's been easy. Today was just rough. Tomorrow's go-home day. I will be home with my family, with my boys, and sleep in my bed. <laughs>